Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be delving into DaVinci Resolve and taking a look at power windows, or I guess masks in the color tab, and how you can utilize them to create some really localized effects, you know, kind of like this, whether it's minimal or really out there. Yeah, basically how they work, and really just like a beginner's look at power windows in the color tab inside DaVinci Resolve 16. All right guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I brought some footage down into the timeline and we're just gonna use this little bit here, just because, why not? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over to the color tab and really, really simple. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is head on over to this option here, which is the power windows tab. And here you can see we have a lot of different options. So we have squares, circle, line, and then we got the pen tool, which so you can create a custom shape. So if we were to click that, we could go through and just create our own shape, okay? And you can see here that in the node tree, it gives us an idea of what is in that particular window. And if we wanna invert that mask so that we have the selection outside the mask, we can just click this button here and you can see that it inverts that selection like so. So we're just gonna delete that mask for a second and go back, all right. So what we wanna do for this particular shot is we're gonna put a mask around my head and create a localized edit on my face. So to do that, what we're gonna do, ooh, look at that, that is a look and a half. So we're gonna to go to the pen tool and we're just gonna draw a mask around my face. Doesn't have to be super accurate, all right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is just close a few things. So I'm gonna close clips down, timeline and gallery, cool. All right, so we got my face there. And what we're gonna to wanna to do now is head on over to the tracker, so the next window across. And literally we can just hit this button here, which is track forward. So what it's gonna do is grab all the information inside that power window and track that information. So if we hit track forward, see it does a really good job of tracking the face. Now this is why generally you want a really tight mask just in case you do get a little bit of an off cut there. But to be honest, that's not too bad. And now, basically any effect we add to this power window, or at least in this node, is going to affect only that channel. So we can go through here and we can increase the gain. So we can really brighten my face down. We could drop the saturation down to nothing, like so. And we could always adjust the track if we want to, and then track backwards from there. And now, if we were to have a look at that without the mask, so we and we play through, now I have a black and white face. All right, and you can hopefully see how effective this could be at creating different results. So what we're gonna actually do is do a proper adjustment. So let's delete that one. And for the, what we're gonna do is just do a general adjustment on the normal clip. So we're just gonna lower the saturation a little bit. Let's go down to 45, nothing huge. I'm gonna lower the gain maybe put a little bit of blue in the shadows, nothing nothing too drastic. Then we're going to create a new node, so we can either do option S on the keyboard, or we could just go up to color nodes and go add serial node. All right, and then on this node, what we're gonna do is just create a mask. So we're gonna use the circle one. All right, and you can see it creates a circle for us, and we can position that on the face. We can rotate it, and change the size using this box here. And then we can obviously turn it into an oval if we want to. And the good thing about this mask here is that we have a bit of a fall off. So this white circle here, that is the harsh line. And then we can adjust the fall off. So if we have it like that, it's gonna be a very strong, harsh mask with harsh edges. But if we grab that red dot and bring it off, we can have a nice gradient fall off, which is good. So we can make it even smaller and then just have like a larger gradient fall off. Cool, and then with that done, go over to our tracker, track forward. Boom. And with that done, what we could do is, with that particular node, we could increase the gain on my face, not by a lot, but just by a little bit. And I might even reduce the saturation a bit more because my face is just super red. If we just have a look at that. Real subtle. But then if I was to turn this particular mask off, you can see that the face is a lot darker. So by doing that, we end up with this nice, real subtle effect where there's a little bit more light on my face. You can't really tell that we're using a mask to create that effect. But then if I was to turn it off, 
you can see that it does actually make a fair bit of difference. So there you go guys, that is Power Windows in DaVinci Resolve. So there you go guys, a really quick and easy tutorial, at least I think. Uh, hopefully you guys have sort of gotten something away from this video, some sort of tidbits that you can take and implement in your own videos out there. Obviously, this is not the only way you can use Power Windows. I just think this is the fastest way to sort of demonstrate how powerful they can be. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. And yeah, until the next one, guys. See ya.